Hi, I'm Marie Bucko. I'm from the University of Wisconsin Veterinary School and I'm a second year student. My name is Lon Armstrong. I go to St. George's University in Grenada and I'm starting my third year this fall. My name is Sean Dwayne Gadsden. Uh, I go to University of California Davis School of Veterinary Medicine uh, and I will be a second year. I wanted to be a veterinarian um, kind of from a really young age because I loved puppies and kittens. And then, so um, I went to undergrad to pursue like a pre-vet major and I discovered that veterinary medicine is so much more than puppies and kittens. There's so much amazing work that can be done. Specifically, I fell in love with research and how many lives you can impact through that. And being a veterinarian, I feel like, is the best way for me to make an impact to provide services to uh, communities who need it so that they don't have to struggle and find services that you know, are not up to par and put their animals in danger. I'd like to pave the way for other Latina women and children. I think they need more role models in this world. I wanted to become a veterinarian to help animals. Uh, I wanted to ensure that the owners had everything they needed to take care of their animals so that animals can provide them with everything. Compassion, love, support. If I had to use one word to describe why I wanted to be a veterinarian, I would say innovation. Adaptable. Adaptability. Protect. Education. Destigmatize. Relationship. Human-animal bond. Human-animal bond. Compassion. Compassion. Extraordinary. Goals. Role model. Improvement. The people. Vocation service to help. It's definitely my brother. Definitely has have to be my sister. Cannot thank my mentors enough for helping me through this. My mom. My mom. My mom, because she's my hero. My mom is the biggest helper in my life. She's been a great influence and a rock in our family. As a first generation American and college student, I've had to rely on a lot of teachers supporting my dream, my mom supporting my dream but especially um, Army veterinarians I've met on the way that encouraged me to be here. I have a good group of four people that said you should do it, and here I am. My greatest fears are honestly the lack of mentorship that tends to happen outside of vet school. I'm a little concerned about supporting my family and paying my bills and paying off my student loans and those kinds of things. But one of my other biggest concerns is kind of a fear of failure, that I'm not going to achieve the things that I want to achieve. Definitely our financial literacy as well as student debt for future veterinarians, I can understand how that would be a big turn off to future veterinarians coming into that much debt. The field is sort of at a turning point where we're also bringing in more people than we ever have before from various backgrounds. And I just want us to make sure that we keep growing and that we keep changing with the times in a proper and appropriate manner. How can we self-develop in our profession a little bit more? What are some tools and resources that you have found the most valuable in your growth? To listen to the students. Every student's experience in veterinary school and the support they need is so different. I would probably ask them to tell me like their funniest story from when they were a recent grad because I think that, you know, obviously we all make mistakes and it can be an easy question to ask and say, what do you wish you had known when you first graduated? But they probably have a really funny story <laughs> that I could learn something from. I would ask them for collaboration. We need to work together um, to make an impact. Providing opportunities for veterinary students and pre-veterinary students who really want to get more experience in the field. On advice uh, for women specifically and how to be where they are today and kind of ways they took to get there. That we want to learn and the best way to be a leader is to create new leaders. Student debt affects everything from the diversity of our profession uh, to the mental well-being of those in our profession and I would really implore them to put a lot of effort to that and help us solve a bunch of issues by solving one.